but the people of Romania are having none of it. Horik O'Brien reports from Romania. Here, 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 here. The heart of Transylvania, the middle of the night, the front line of Romania's fracking backlash. No, 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 not that. This is in public. Yeah, yeah. Activists cut cables used for seismic testing by fracking companies, the process of drilling into the earth and creating cracks that release shale gas. What we are doing is actually a um, guerrilla um, attack against them, and um, they are not really prepared for this kind of reactions from, uh, from us. But uh, we are starting to fight back. We have to do these kind of things. Yeah. It's our duty. Yeah. If you thought fracking in the UK was contentious, welcome to the village of Mushna. Here it's about more than shale gas. It's about flexing new muscle against outside interference, against heavy-handed government. As the sun comes up, Miles of cable dragged through the street. These villages are becoming lightning rods for a national debate about fracking here. Across the country, despite the protests, the fracking work carries on. Today, a team from a prospecting company have turned up to lay cables for seismic testing. This story is about more than fracking. It's about transparency and trust. Do you trust your neighbour? Do you trust the foreign company he sold land to? Do you trust the people you voted for?